two amazing guys with me, Coach Rhino from Strength Center. Hi, I'm Coach Rhino from Strength Center. We got a really, really, really special guest. I'm super excited to be able to introduce you to a guy that's done some tremendous things in his life, and he's got an amazing story to tell. Um, you guys are in for a treat. We have Mr. Run to Improve with us today. In the Thank house. you, sir. Woo! Appreciate it. Thank you for that, Heine. Yeah. Hey, guys. How you guys doing? My name is Jose. Mr. Run to Improve for all those that know me on Facebook. Um, here today to tell you a little bit about myself and my story. So far, I've lost 150 pounds, and guess what, guys? All through hard work, dedication, motivation, and best of all, consistency. Anybody could do it. No supplements needed. You just gotta have that work ethic and go out there and do it for yourself. And these guys right here are two of the best at what they do. She runs, she's a director, she's out there hustling, doing her thing. Coach Ryan over here does the training and he gets us up to where we need to be. So, Jose, thank you. What got you? What got you? something better so I started little by little I started to read education first I wanted to educate my mind on how I needed to change so I could get results but other than that then after that the diet came and then I started walking a little bit of action never hurt nobody 5 10 20 30 minutes a day slowly progress then it turned into an hour next thing I know I wanted to run I wanted to be faster and I did. So I started running 5Ks. Nice. Nice. There you go. Yep. Uh, let's see, what else can I say, guys? Uh, after running, um, after I got into my first 5K, I was hooked. I recommend anybody out there to go do it. Join Heidi with Triple Dare Running Company. Or join Coach Ryan out there training, getting you guys ready for that. It doesn't happen overnight. It takes time. You got to put that work. Living proof, I'm still working at it. My main goal is for 2017 to get to my max physique, which is at 200 pounds. Hopefully, you're gonna do it. You're gonna do you're it. Gonna do I'm it. gonna do it. You are. I have their it's, it's, approval yeah. and I have their help, and they're gonna guide me. So just stand, extend your hands out there. Ever. I was the last one picked for anything. I was terrible. I actually flunked out of PE uh, because I, I, could, I could not run one lap. I was terrible. So I started seeing people running as I was an adult. My son's kindergarten teacher was doing a marathon, had no idea what it was, but I thought it sounded cool. And so I started training and I, somebody said, you have to run one mile first and see if you can do it. And I remember that one mile felt like torture, but I started like you. 5Ks and then it's an addiction. Yes, it is. And you get into the running community so friendly, people start, you know, come on, do a 10K, do a half marathon. Motivation, yeah. Do an ultra, and now I've done a couple hundred. Ultra, that's so what that, I'm trying next. That's what you're gonna, we're gonna get you to do that. <laughs> yes. So that's what got me into it because I was told I was terrible. So I'm like undoing it now as an adult. And what about you, Coach Randall? <laughs> yeah. You know, I accidentally got into running. I was all weights, all weights, no cardio. And it was a whoops. It was a whoops. <laughs> there was um, a 5K going on downtown. I didn't train for it. Uh, and I remember when the the race started, the race started, something came over me like I've never felt in my life. There was this excitement that I've just been like longing for like my whole entire life. And it was tough. My lungs burned. My legs hurt. I didn't stop. I pushed through. I crossed the finish line and I was hooked. Kind of like you, I went through my journey, you know, five Ks, ten Ks, all the way to the hundred miler. And uh, you know, I want to talk about that. We've all been to running, we've been running for a little while now. Uh, we've done different races. Um, what's some different techniques that we can we can use to stay accountable now that we're we're into this to keep us motivated as runners? Great some question. Different techniques? That's great. Ah, uh, well, one technique I could give, I would suggest. Write down everything you're doing. Keeping the log and tracking your progress is very important. 
because you won't be able to say how did I get to this point without nothing in writing how are you gonna share it how are you gonna show somebody else if eventually that's what you want to do but the main thing is just have it for your own personal use because you will see it and it'll motivate you to do more you want to write everything down that's one of my techniques. that's awesome because you forget how far you've come and I know people say that they feel like they haven't been reaching their goals but when you can see you're hitting each of your little goals so that's great Um, to keep me accountable, I have, well, people like you and you. People because I know Coach Rhino is going to push me, so I can't be weak. I have to, like, try to be strong. You, you're saying you are looking for people as examples. I see people like that in my family, people that want to run, so I try to be an example. And then social media, when you see people doing these runs and these races, it makes you want to do them. And then you, you know, going on there and posting about what you do to try to motivate other people, that's what keeps me motivated signing up for races. What about you? Yes. Um, a couple of different things. Social media is huge. Whenever I choose a, choose a race, I always post it and then I put it out there. So I'm accountable. So everybody knows that I'm going to do this. There's no backing out of it. Hold me accountable to that. Um, I have a running group every Sunday. We all keep each other accountable, motivated, and goal oriented on, on our next race. And then one of the, the tricks I use for my, my 100 miler it's kind of weird outside the box, but I, I sat down and I wrote out 50 times I will run 100 miles <laughs> over and over and over yeah. um, to just to imprint that in my head. There was no backing out of it. Well, actually, that's a good thought. One thing that I recently shared on Facebook is I try to wake up at least 30 minutes before I'm supposed to wake up. And in those 30 minutes, whether I'm awake or in bed, I talk to myself and I tell myself, hey, you're doing good. You're gonna you're gonna finish this. You're 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 hardworking. You're focused. You're determined. And sometimes I fall asleep with that. But my alarm wakes me up at the time that I need to wake up. Guess what? When I wake up, I'm not feeling any negative thoughts. I feel good. I feel motivated. So I just get off my shoes and go out the door and hit start running. But mindset is a big deal. You got to have that mindset. So you got to change it. That is so good because I think we can be our own worst enemies. Because I know I am not, Coach Rhino is a fast runner, I am not a fast runner. And so sometimes I compare myself to other people and it starts making me feel like I'm not that good. Right. But then I'll post something on Facebook and people will say, oh, I want to do that or that looks fun or you made it so I wanted to go on a run today. And so then it makes me feel like, okay, I'm all right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not that bad. So you have to not put yourself down and be around people that are positive. I think that was really good. Right. Yep. And another thing, guys, everybody runs at a different pace. I'm not going to be a, a super athlete running full fours. I'm not going to be running. I got my own pace. So it's your own race. That's the beauty about running. You run at your own pace. Nobody's judging you. As long as you finish, that's the, that's the biggest accomplishment. I was kind of afraid when I did the Red Rock Trail of Fire. I'm like, am I going to make it? I, did, I gave it my all. I felt bad because I didn't do it. But I learned a lot. And guess what? I'm, ready. I'm getting ready for my next try and I'm gonna do it better. But your own pace is very important. Don't try to do something that, don't put yourself out there and give yourself too much. And how is the running community? So supportive. Oh, I love the running community. So anybody that's thinking of signing up for a race, because there are a lot I of people suggest- that are like, I don't know, I'm not a runner, I can't do it. What if we all felt that way? I mean. It's hard, you gotta put yourself out there. Some people don't like do to Just do it, right? Talk. Just yes, find something, it. just sign up. Just sign up, and once you signed up, you can't go back because you can't get your money back. Actually, <laughs> or actually, you can. That's true. Yeah, you got some skin in the game at that, that point. That is true. Yeah. That's true. Good. Well, right. Are we ready to do a? Are we ready to do a workout? Yeah, let's do it. Awesome. We let's are. Try. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna do some some plank variations that no matter where you're at on your fitness journey, whether you're just beginning or you're pretty advanced. Got a plank variation that's going to be great for you that's going to help improve core strength and overall make you a better runner and core is so important people forget core, with running core is huge it's those muscles that keep you upright for your entire race so we definitely need to do a lot of core exercises as runners okay okay so i want both of you guys So we're going to get on our forearms. Scale of one to ten. 
ten. Like yeah, this is like a one, right? You're feeling good. I feel, I feel, I feel it. Okay. I, I've it? never done planks, so this is the first time. <laughs> so awesome. I do feel, I do feel it. This is good. This okay. is how we break people in. Yeah. So we're gonna take it to step two. I want you to take one of your legs and straighten them out. So I have one knee bent and one of my legs are straight. Okay. Can you feel the difference? Yes. yes. A little bit more core recruitment right here. A little bit more yeah. engagement. Right in the stomach. Right in the stomach. Okay, perfect. Okay, this is two. Okay, three. We're gonna take it. Raise your other leg up. Uh, okay, here we yeah. go. A little bit tougher. Yes. Okay, we're gonna hold that. A lot tougher. Uh huh. Okay, we're not gonna hold it for much. Now for the advanced people out there, I want you to take your elbows and I want you to pull them towards your toes. You're gonna squeeze your toes. good a shape you're in, if you try to take your elbows and you push them back towards your toes, you're gonna, it's going to light up your core. It's going to be a, a great core workout. That was awesome. I just feel it. We can feel it after one diet. i got to do some planks. <laughs> We're going to do some planks. We would like to hear from all of you. We talked about why we got into running, what motivates us to stay running, and we have an incentive. If you comment below and let us know how you got into running, what keeps you motivated? We're going to do a random drawing. We'll do it in three days. We'll give you three days. We are going to offer a free race to Triple Dare Running. You can pick whichever race you want. And Coach Rhino is right. sweetening it. Yeah, so on top of the race, I'm gonna, we're going to do three training sessions to be able to get you to run your best race. So three training sessions plus a free race. Comment below. Tell us why you got into running, what keeps you running. Just blow us away with your incredible story. Everybody has an awesome story, and I would love to hear it. And if you add a picture, that might be a bonus. Might, you never know. I could actually make it a little sweeter for you guys. Oh, oh my. If you guys do sign up, I will go out there myself personally and take pictures and a video of your race. And he wow. does a very good job. Wow. We did not know he was going to no, do that. It just he happened. Very, that just happened. Very good job. He will take video and pictures of you doing your race and he yep. does a great job so if you would like to get a hold of me you can find me at triple dare running company.com where do we find you coach rona rhino <laughs> coach rhino i work at a strength center you can get a hold of the strength center website at strength center on me. You can find me on Facebook also, facebook.com backslash Mr. Run to Improve. Hit me up, send me a friend request. Let's get motivated, guys. Let's do it. All this. right, let's yeah. do it. Oh, oh and oh. Coach Rhino. <laughs> Two weeks from now, next week we will not be here, 4th of July, but what are we going to talk about in two weeks? I'm excited. Oh, we got a great summertime workout. We're going to be doing pool workouts. Nice. So if you're on vacation, you got a pool in your backyard if you're injured if you just you're recovering from, from something um, we're going to give you some awesome run workouts that you can do in the pool so stay tuned for that all right make sure to comment below one more time see you guys later time, guys. Yeah. Oh, no. oh. <laughs> Did I, I, I don't even know what the, I forgot what yeah, the end button is. Yeah. Oh. Did I